Welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, if you're new here and you like this kind of content before we get started make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and in today's video we are going to be giving you guys an update on these Angus Jersey Cross calves. Um, if you guys remember I purchased these two calves off of Craigslist for I think 135 bucks back in the day last spring so they're a year old right now. Um, and we ended up putting them on a beef heifer that lost her first calf and she ended up accepting both of these both of these calves here so they were raised on a cow um she didn't have a whole lot of milk but she did have enough for them because they were pretty small and anyway these guys have been getting grain ever since they're currently in with our heifer pen um along with the nurse cow and her calves and the free martin heifer um, so getting a little bit of grain every day. They've mainly been on grass and grass hay in the winter. So weight wise, I'd say um, this guy is probably in the 500, 600 pound range, which isn't much for being a year old. Um, like I said, he is partially Jersey, so that would be why. And I will try to give you a good look at him. Um, honestly, he looks pretty good for what he is. And the benefit about jerseys is they do fatten up well on grass and so um, he should be putting on quite a bit of fat just by eating grass and he does have quite a big barrel on him and those horns he has been dehorned those are just the soft horns that are growing after um, you can actually pull those right off we're not worried about it and uh, anyway I'll show you the other one here so here's the second one. Um, he's actually a little bit bigger than the first. Um, he's trying to run away from me. Sorry. Um, he has a little bit more jersey look to him. He does have the brindle kind of stripes on him. Um, and uh, like I said, he may be in the 600, 650 pound range. A little bit taller. Has a little bit more meat on him. Um, but his barrel is not near as big. He also has those little horns growing on him. Um, but anyway, so plans for them. These are the two calves that I was going to give the guy for the combine because when I had first got them, um, he had told me he would be interested in buying them for meat eventually when they're old enough. And I said, sure. He said, make sure you contact me before you sell them or anything. And he'd be interested but anyway now he says he has his freezers full and doesn't really want them and so um so now i'm stuck with a few choices i can either take him to the sales barn now um which these are probably going to be the better calf prices um it normally is because people are looking for um stalker calves to put on their pastures this spring so i could sell them now i still don't think they'd even bring close to a dollar a pound even though they're half angus I'm going to guess they'll probably bring 80 some or 90 cents a pound, kind of like a Holstein, um, which won't be much. So that's option number one. I can take them to the sales barn. So option number two is I try to finish them out on the farm and try to sell them private for meat. And um, that's something I've never done before. So if any of you guys have done that and sold people, people half or whole um, animals, um, please give me some recommendations down below and whether you think it's more profitable to do it that way. Um, I know I'd get more per pound for these animals, but um, in the end, I don't know how much more money I would make versus just taking them to the sales barn. So after all the trouble, I don't know how much it's worth doing. So um, if you guys have sold half or whole beefs, um, please give me recommendations down below because I've never done it and I'd like to get some more information about it and get more educated on it. So. I'll be sure to check those out and try to make a decision um, here in the near future what I'm actually going to end up doing with them. Uh, anyway, yeah, these are the calves. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick little update on them. I think they're doing really well. They look pretty good now and uh, be interested in hearing from you. So please leave some information down below if you could and I'll be sure to check those out. Anyway, with that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video.